friends welcome to interactive medicine in this section we can talk about how the chloroid plexus forms and how the csf is forms csf means the cerebrospinal fluid and it is the basic of neuroanatomy and here we can see what what is this this is cerebral hemisphere okay what is this midbrain what is this pons what is this medulla what's this spinal cord okay what is the cavity where present lateral to thalamus it is lateral ventricle and the cavity present between the thalamus is known as third ventricle and this is a tube which connects the fourth ventricle and the third ventricle is known as cerebral aqueduct okay here is the spinal canal okay here is our choroid plexus where present in the lateral ventricle and in the th third ventricle and here is the choroid plexus where present in the roof of the fourth ventricle and this choroid plexus is responsible for the formation of cerebrospinal fluid okay we can study the choroid plexus is structure and how the csf is forms how the choroid plexus forms the csf and here we can see our brain and brain is covered by first layer first what is this first layer is pia matter and what we can see here is our cavity which is also known as the ventricle and ventricle is lined by the ependymal cells and here is our choroidal artery and choroidal vein the choroidal artery comes into the ventricle and make a loop along with this choroidal artery the fold of pia mater get inside and it forms a structure is known as tela choroide here we can see tela choroide is formed by the choroidal artery and pia mater it does not include the ependymal cells okay if it includes ependymal cells then we can say it is choroid plexus here choroid plexus and what contains the csf the ependymal cells which have special transporter for na plus na plus and cl minus which eventually leads to increasing osmotic pressure so the water flows from the blood to the csf and ependymal cells have another transporter for glucose but we should uh, understand that if the blood have 100 percentage of glucose only 60 percentage of uh, glucose were present in the csf because of the uh, the transporter in the ependymal is not uh, sufficient a transporter for glucose and we also remember that the potassium is goes back to blood from the csf so the amount of k plus in csf is less than the blood so what we can say about the composition of cs it is predominantly by water and Na plus is nearly equal to that of plasma. Chloride ion is 50 percentage greater than plasma. Potassium is approximately 40 percentage less. Calcium is also less. And glucose is 30 percentage less. And uh, in CSF, the amount of glucose is 64 milligram. The proteins 
only 20 to 25 milligram percentage as compared to 7500 milligram percentage in plasma cells very few lymphocyte and there is no rbc's in csf and also csf is in alkaline nature and uh, what we can say the what is the color it is colorless and it's a transparent liquid okay friends this is the basic about the neuroanatomy the csf and the ventricular system and if you like the video please make a thumbs up and share to your friends bye friends have a nice day